All right, good, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel, Casadigan Vlogs. And today we'll be talking about solving for slope, x-intercept, and y-intercept using general form of equation of a straight line. So this is analytic geometry, and I hope that you will learn today. All right, so let's have the formula in solving for the slope, the x-intercept, the b or the y-intercept in the general form of the equation of a straight line. So we have the general form of a straight line. So we have ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So how to find the slope? So there is a shortcut in finding the slope by, the, by just checking the coefficients of the general form so we could find the slope of a line. So m is equal to negative a over b. And the y-intercept is equal to b or y is equal to negative c over b. And the x-intercept is a or x is equal to negative c over a. So this is the formula in finding the slope, the y-intercept, and the x-intercept. So, so let us have how did you come up or what's the concept behind in finding the shortcut in, in the slope, the y and the x-intercept. All right, so let us have first our general form of equation of a line. So we have ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So if we're going to let, to find for the y-intercept, we have to let x is equal to zero, right? When we talk about y-intercept, which is zero y. So this is the y-intercept, meaning to say that x is equal to 0. So that's why we need to, find, we need to let x is equal to 0 to find the y-intercept. So when we let x is equal to 0, so the form here is a times 0 plus by plus c is equal to 0. So this is 0, so by is equal to negative c. So y is equal to negative c over b. So this one is what we call as our b intercept, or the b or the y intercept rather, or the b, which is the y intercept. So c over c over b, or the y intercept. So this is the y intercept. Okay, so this is the formula in finding the y-intercept. So how to find the x-intercept? If x-intercept, which is, this is x and 0. So our x is stands for our a. And by the way, this is y is equal to b. Okay, we have to let this one as our b as our y, and x is our, is our a. Okay. So we have here, if to, we're going to find for the value for the x-intercept, we have to let y is equal to 0 here. Okay. So a times ax plus b times 0 plus c is equal to 0. So therefore, we have ax is equal to negative c. So x is equal to negative c over a, which is r. A and A or the X intercept. So this time we have now the X intercept. Alright, so we have here the Y, the X, and next is we need to find for the slope. So we have here the equation AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero. We have to transform this one to Y is equal to MX, MX plus B to get for the slope. All right, so we have to transform this one. So we have by is equal to negative ax plus, a uh, minus rather, minus c. So y, so divide both uh, each term by b. So negative a over b, x minus c over b. If we're going to look at here, our b and our y-intercept is the same here. So therefore, our slope, is equal to the shortcut in finding the slope a over b. 
So this is the shortcut in finding the slope given the equation, the general equation of the line. So we come up now with the y, the x-intercept, and the slope. So this is the thing that we're going to discuss today. Okay, so we have here find the slope, the x-intercept, the y-intercept of the equation 3x minus 5y plus 11 is equal to 0. So we know already in how to find the shortcut of finding the slope x-intercept and y-intercept. So we have to apply here in our lesson for today. So in finding the slope, m is equal to negative a over b. In finding the, uh, we have the x-intercept, a is equal to negative c over a. And in finding the y-intercept, we have negative c over b. So in this equation, we have to find the coefficient, which is Ra is equal to 3, Rb is equal to negative 5, Rc is equal to 11. So make sure we have to use this uh, formula if that is in general equation. If it, does not, if it is not in a general equation, we have to transform first into a general equation before we can make use of this formula. Okay. So now, we have to find the value for our slope. Our slope is negative a over b. What is our a? Which is negative 3. Our b is negative 5. So therefore, to make it uh, simplify, uh, simplified here, so we have 3 fifth. So the slope of this part is 3 fifth. Okay. So next we have here the x-intercept. So the x-intercept is equal to negative c over a. So negative c 11 over which is a which is 3 so therefore we have negative 11 over 3 so this is our x intercept and we have here our y intercept which is negative c which is negative 11 over b which is negative 5 so we have 11 over 5 so we have here the slope the x intercept and the y intercept so let's try using not the shortcut way so we have here, to find the slope, we have 3x minus 5y plus 11 is equal to 0. So negative 5y is equal to negative 3x minus 11. So y, divide all terms by negative 5. So we have here negative 3 over negative 5x minus 11 over negative 5. Okay, so divide it all terms by negative 5. So y is equal to 3 over 5x plus 11 over 5. So this part is our slope. And this part is our y-intercept. So our, our b. So to find for the x-intercept, we have to let x, uh, we have y is equal to 0. In this equation, 3x minus 5y plus 11 is equal to 0. So 3x minus 5 times 0 plus 11 is equal to 0. So 3x is equal to negative 11. x is equal to negative 11 over 3. So now we could be able to check now that the, the shortcut is correct by using the shortcut in the way that we you are going to solve for the x and the y and terza. So, let's proceed with number 2. Find m, a, b, and of the equation, which is 2x minus y is equal to 5. Since the equation is not in a general form, we have to transform this one first into a general form. So, the general form is 2x minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So, to find for the slope, so, first is we have to uh, find the coefficient here, which is 2. Rb is negative 1. Rc is negative 5. Okay, so we have here, Rm is equal to negative a over b. So, what is our negative? Uh, what's our a? Which is negative 2 over b, which is negative 1. So, therefore, the slope is 2. Our a and a or the x-intercept is we have negative c over a. So what is our c? 
which is negative, negative 5, over which is our a is 2. So therefore, we have the x-intercept is 5 over 2. And what is our y-intercept? Our y-intercept is equal to negative c over a, a b rather. So we have negative 5 times negative still because this is preceded. So we are b is negative 1. So therefore, 5 over negative 1, that is negative 5. So therefore, this is our y-intercept and this is our x-intercept and this is our slope. Okay, so next we'll proceed with uh, 2 number 3. So express y is equal to 2x, my, 2x over 3 minus 4 into its general form and identify the coefficients a, b, c, and so forth, the slope x and y intercept. So first, we have to transform this one into a general form in order we could be able to get a, b, c, and m, a, b. Okay, so we have here y is equal to 2x over 3 minus 4. So we have to multiply this part. Okay, so multiply it by 3. Here also we have to multiply it by 3. So this will become 3y. In order for us to, uh, we could uh, simplify 3 here. So we have here 3, and so we have 2x, and we have minus 12. Okay, so 3y is equal to 2x minus 12, and in general form, we have 2x minus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0, because we have to transform 3y here to the right. So we have here, our a is equal to 2, our b is equal to negative 3, our c is equal to negative 12. So now we have now the coefficient of a, b, and c. These are the coefficients. So next, we need to find for the slope. The slope is negative a over b. So what is our a? So negative 2 over r, b, is equal to negative 3. So therefore, we have 2 over 3. R, x intercept, which is a, negative c over a, rather c over a. So we have here negative c, which is negative times negative 12, because negative then still negative, over a, which is 2. So we have here 12 over 2, that is equal to 6. So for y intercept, we have negative c over b. So what is negative times negative 12 over our b is negative 3. So therefore, we have 12 over negative 3, that is negative 4. So we have here the slope, the x-intercept, and the y-intercept, which is negative 4. So that's easy to try this. So I hope everyone you will enjoy solving this one at home. Express y is equal to 3 over 4x plus 2 into its general form and identify the coefficients a, b, and c. And so for the slope, x-intercept, and the y-intercept. Next, number 2, describe the graph ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 if a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. You can show illustration. So you have to graph or proof in how you're going to going to describe the graph. So you can show a graph that would represent the equations ax plus by with a condition given. Next number 3, the sum of the coefficients of x and y in ax plus by minus 13 is equal to 0 is 6. If the slope of line is 7, find A and B. So these are the applications that we need to know in order for us to have a uh, good idea on how to use the coefficients and the shortcut methods in finding the slope, the x-intercept, and the y-intercept. So thank you so much for tuning in to this Castelligan Vlogs. And I hope everyone, uh, you are going to solve this, try this. And if you have some clarifications, you could raise it one 
and my YouTube channel. And for my students, please always find and have a nice day, everyone. So God bless everyone. Thank you.